In Hong Kong, urban taxis are planning to raise fares, joining bus firms and the Star Ferry, which have already applied to charge more. Representatives of Red Taxis want to raise the flagfall early next year, but noted that their previous application took five years before approval was given. Macy Mock reports. People will have to dig deeper into their pockets next year to pay for transport and electricity. The two power suppliers, Star Ferry and the five franchised bus companies all want to charge their customers more. Now, urban taxis have joined the queue to raise fares. Chow Kwok Kern, chairman of the Taxi and Public Light Bus Association, said it will apply to the transport department tomorrow to raise the red taxi flagfall by $6, taking it from $27 to $33. He said the government could give the green light for the $6 increase in one go, or raise the flagfall by $3 each year for two years. Chow wants the increase to take effect in the first quarter of next year. He's consulting new territories and Lantau taxi operators to see if they too want a higher flagfall. Speaking on a radio program, Ng Kwon Singh, honorary life president of the Taxi Dealers and Owners Association, said the taxi sector has no choice but to join forces and press for a fair increase because of surging costs. He said fuel prices have risen and the government's subsidy of $2 per litre of gas for taxis will expire by the end of next month. Ng added that insurance for taxis has gone up from around $30,000 to $50,000. The flagfall for red, green and blue taxis went up by $3 just four months ago. But Ng said it was not enough as the increase was half of what the trade had proposed. He said it took the authorities five years to approve the previous application, adding that the new bid could take two to three years to process. Maisie Mock, HKIBC.